nothing good lasts forever and so yes let's talk about hip 148 regarding helium mobile and the voting has closed for it and we're going to talk about it shout out to alter tech who brought it to my attention i appreciate you bud um yeah we they were having a little chat you know a little group chat um, and it was brought to the attention that hip 148 was being voted on. Um, I heard about that earlier. Um, yeah, th this is going to affect a lot of legacy users. So listen up. Okay. Uh, so what's happening here is, is that a vote was, uh, was started. Um, you basically vote with uh, VHNT or, you know, your lockdown HNT crypto and, um, yeah, I think you had to, you know, to like a certain time. Um, ah, man, this, this totally sucks because what I campaigned for, for, you know, Helium Mobile, a, a company that I had, um, a lot of interest in it was very interesting, very different, very different has now become pretty much like every other carrier. So what does hip 148 do? Well, I'll drop a link in the description for you guys to read it. Uh, but HIP 148 literally just takes away all the uh, the crypto allocation for uh, rewarding mappers who turn on active mapping with Helium Mobile and map where um, deployers can set up a hotspot to um, pretty much get customers on the Helium network and have less reliance on the T-Mobile network because that's the entire end game goal. So you yourself could buy a outdoor hotspot or indoor hotspot Connect it to your home Wi-Fi router. It operates on a separate channel and it disperses that signal, that, that, that data Wi-Fi that you're not using yourself for customers who are passing by on the street to connect to, which alleviates their data usage off the T-Mobile network. And yeah, you know, um, so many companies got interested. I know Verizon was, was interested. I think Verizon was beta testing, connecting to these, uh, these hotspots themselves. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, that, that's their primary thing. And now, to find locations where there's no hotspot deployed, they were relying on Helium customers as mappers, turning on, you know, the mapping capabilities, letting them see where you go. Not technically you yourself, because you, you would stay anonymous. But they would see what you're mostly connecting to in areas that you go to. And if there's, like, no hotspot deployed, that would be a central reason for them to incentivize somebody from getting a hotspot and deploying it in that area that they notice there is no hotspot available. So yeah, mappers served their purpose. Then I knew they were gonna get rid of this. Uh, when they introduced the three new plans, they introduced the ability to earn cloud points and all that other stuff, I already knew. It was just a matter of time before they pulled the plug on a lot of us who remained on the legacy plans and who still continue to earn crypto because i still earn both hnt and mobile reward tokens even though i'm not earning it through mapping i still earn it through referrals which is also under attack well i shouldn't say under attack it's ko'd because the voting has closed the voting for this has absolutely closed already and these are the results 96 percent Basically, 96.72% voted for it, and only 327 voted against it. They're going to be shocked about this right here, because this right here, 96.72%, is absolute horse crap. <clears throat> and I'll tell you why here in a little bit. But I'll put this link in the description for you guys to read all of this for yourselves. I'm not going to go through all of it. But basically, the reason why this proposal even came up is because they claim that most, most of Helium customers um, that were mapping are turning off mapping. Okay, so they're not. So they're saying that you know, they're not even effectively mapping for Helium. And then, you know, what's the point of of rewarding if you're not actively mapping? Well, you know, to let uh, Nova Labs know this. But when mapping is turned on, it kills the batteries on our phones. Like my Pixel 9a, which has decent battery. When Helium is on my Pixel 9a and mapping is turned on, my battery life is much weaker. If I get six hours of screen on time without active mapping turned on, and then I turn active mapping on with Helium uh, service, then my screen on time is four and a half hours. That's a big difference. 
So yes, it kills battery. And that's why people were turning it off and then turning it back on and then turning it off. You know, can you blame them? Especially if they're like God majority of the day, they don't carry a charger on them. They need their phone to last. Of course, they're going to turn it off. But hey, go ahead, Helium. Penalize them for doing that. Heaven forbid people just wanted to make their battery stretch. I know there were some people who got Helium service and never turned on mapping at all. And fine, but exile them. Whatever. You know, Helium Mobile to me is just another MVNO. And now, no difference. The only way that you're incentivized now in being in Helium Mobile is not being a customer. It's going and getting these hotspots and, de and deploying them. That's how you're going to make money. Because the rest of us who were just like, wow, this is pretty cool. You know, phone service and you earn crypto for just having phone service. That's gone. That went poof up in smoke. You know, Helium used it on us with no Vaseline and didn't even give us a reach around. Thank you, Helium. Thank you so much. And the saddest part was, was that because of this company's uh, proposed strategy, I actually, I actually bought it. I actually drank the damn Kool-Aid from it, thinking that they were going to be something different. But no, not anymore. Not for phone service providers. And don't give me this crap cloud points. Take the cloud points and pff, blow it up your ass. Because I, I really don't care about cloud points. This is the reason why I never converted to the new plans. I liked what I was on. I liked the fact that I was earning for mapping all around my city. And I just feel like I got shafted without, without even a sweet proposal. Didn't even whisper in my ear. We just got shafted pretty bad. If you guys want to read all this, I'll link it in the description. But why did I say that this was a big problem right here? Okay. Well, that goes to this article here on basically uh, Reddit. All right. So on Reddit, somebody decided to post this and they posted a screenshot how they were banned from, um, they were kicked out from the Helium Mobile, uh, you know, thread, the subreddit. Why were they kicked out? Well, because of this. They said the original post is gone, but you can find the original discussion that's still up in my post history. If you're a, Hel a Helium Mobile Legacy Plan user and were earning HNT rewards of, you know, for mapping, you are about to lose your HNT reward. The person goes on to say the proposal passed yesterday. HIP 148 will take the small chunk of overall HNT that was distributed to mappers and is now going to reallocate it to hotspot deployers. A moderator commented on my original post that this change will take effect early November. So not far away. It says, uh, voting on uh, HIPs in Helium's govern governance system is measured by how much VHNT you have. A voter gets VHNT by taking their HNT holdings and locking them down to use in the voting process. So you convert your Helium network token into a type of token that is used for voting okay so um so quite literally your vote has as more weight if you have more money to put down so the more hnt coin that you convert over to voting the more of your your vote has weight in these decisions so it goes this was a seizure of helium mobile users earnings that was pretty much decided by a couple of whales so now it's getting interesting it goes on to say literally two voters got them 50 percent of the vote two voters okay two voters got them there which is sad super sad now here it shows a little bit different here, when it shows you the voter breakdown, I mean, yeah, you see how much vote power this person had, but you notice that there's no names and stuff like that, right? Just addresses, just addresses. But this person makes a claim that, you know, two voters got them 50, 57% of the votes they needed to enact this. It says, I have been informed that second voter with 26 percent is nova labs themselves how interesting 26 percent of the vote was done by nova labs 
You have got to literally be crapping all over me. Mean to tell me that in a in a decision to 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 allocate uh, crypto funds to you know restructurize and reorganize all this, and the company that wants this done was allowed to vote. That's very interesting. That's like if I started up a company and told all you guys to invest all your money into my company. And I said, yeah, we would all make decisions together. The more you invest, the more uh, the more voting power you had. And then I wanted to do something that would, you know, force lock you into giving me all of your money without allowing you voting rights. Of course, we would take this to a vote. Of course, you guys are going to vote against my stupid idea because it removes you of being able to vote. However, I throw my weight involved and I garner myself 90% of the votes. I win. Does that sound fair to people? Heck no. I shouldn't even be allowed to vote. But hey, Helium wants to do this. Why? Because they're done. They're done. They're done with the active mapping of customers. They're done forking over crypto. They know that a lot of us on the legacy plans don't want to switch over to their BS cloud points, get a Visa card for Circle K. I don't care. I like earning the crypto. I like it. I did. So what am I going to do? Nothing. Because I don't need to waste my time racking my brain on something that was going to fail anyways. Those who were against it had no chance of beating that by voting. They, they didn't. Let's call it for what it is. They didn't. Okay, why do I feel like that I have a right to say something? Well, I actively campaigned for them last year. You guys remember? I was giving you guys a month free with my promo code. Use my promo code, sign up with Helium today, get a month free on me. And I was constantly doing videos and talking about them and everything, trying to help grow them. I was like, for what? So they can crap all over people, so they can feed people cloud points. This is absolutely, this is absolutely crap. This, this is messed up in so many ways. 57% of the votes came from the owners. So yeah, I mean, I, I know someone out there who deploys hotspots probably going to like come in my comments and bitch and moan about it and be like, well, you know what? I need to earn. Got you. You need to earn. But how the hell are you going to earn anything if customers who were actually receiving crypto decide to just drop the service and walk? Let's see if that works. Let's see if Helium has enough customers to sustain itself when most of us decide to just give the finger and walk. Let's see. That'd be pretty interesting. What do you think? What do you guys think? Drop your comments in the comment section of the video. Thanks for checking out this, this, this video. It's breaking news. I know it's pretty long, but you know what? I will talk to you guys later for sure.